Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to install Windows XP on VirtualBox. Whether you are revisiting some old software or if you are learning about virtual machines, this guide will help you to get Windows XP up and running smoothly. So let's get started. First off, we will need VirtualBox and VirtualBox is a free and open source virtualization software that lets you run the multiple operating systems on your computer. So it is a fantastic tool for developers, testers or anyone who is interested in using different operating systems without altering their main setup. So you will have uh, any software or any operating system that you need without uh, touching your main operating system. So you will have a dual boot operating systems. So you will have Windows 11 for example and uh, you will be able to use Windows XP or any other operating system. So to install here to Unbox, you will need to open your Google uh, Chrome or any browser that you prefer and you are going to search for uh, VirtualBox download. Click on enter and uh, you will see the virtualbox.org. I will leave the link of this website in the video description. So we will go to downloads. As you can see, uh, here is the home page and you will click on download VirtualBox 7.0. And here you will find the Windows host. You are going to click on this one. As you can see, the download has started. After it finished, we will start installing it. So click on it. The install window will pop up and you're going to click on next. Click on next again. Click on yes. So as you can see, I got uh, another window pop up because I'm missing uh, Windows 32 API, which is the Python core. and I don't have that uh, dependencies so I will click on yes and hope this will install on its own click on yes and click on next and click on install click on finish so VirtualBox will start after the installation click on finish so here we are going to create a new virtual hard disk uh, where Windows XP is going to be installed. So we are going to choose create a virtual hard disk. We are going to give it a name Windows XP. As you can see the type is Microsoft Windows and the version will uh, update and is going to be a Windows XP 32 bit. Click on next and we are going to choose the base memory. I suggest you go as high as possible so the virtual box is going to run smoothly click on next and also you are going to choose the disk size I suggest going as high as possible it depends on your uh, on your device uh, storage so I'm going to choose 100 gigabytes click on next again and I'm going to click on finish so here we have uh, our Windows XP virtual machine. For now it has a virtual hard disk, but it doesn't have the ISO file for the, for the Windows XP. After creating the virtual hard disk, we are going to install the Windows XP ISO file. And to do that, open your Google Chrome again. And you are going to search for Windows XP Professional SP386. I will leave the link uh, of this website in the video description and click on this and here you will find the download options and we need the ISO image so click on download here and the download will start. So after this finishes we are going again to VirtualBox and we are going to add this to our storage. So when we start the virtual machine is going to start as Windows XP. So let's wait for this to finish and we will continue with the other steps. After the Windows XP professional has been uh, uh, downloaded, you need to open the virtual box and uh, you need to select the Windows XP machine that we created uh, earlier and you need to go to settings. Make sure you have selected this and go to settings again and uh, you need to go to storage 
and here where it says empty click on this and uh, you're going to select this the, uh, this disk image click on this and you're going to click on choose a disk file go to downloads and here you have your windows xp professional that you downloaded click on open and you have added windows xp professional click on ok and now we have to start the machine click on make sure you have selected this again and click on start and windows xp is going to start so for this to work you need to make sure that uh, you have uh, enabled uh, virtualization uh, mode and to check that you need to go to task manager just search for task or go to task manager you need to go to performance and here you need to select cpu and uh, as you can see virtualization is enabled you need to make sure that this is enabled this uh, thing will work for you but if you don't have it enabled i have a video i will leave the link of the video in the video description on uh, how to enable virtualization on windows so after doing this we have opened our virtual machine and to set up windows xp now we need to click on enter and you need to click on f8 to agree and click on enter click on enter again and windows xp is, set, is setting up so after installing all of these uh, requirements it's going to restart the virtual machine and as you can see we are on windows xp so now it's installing the devices and the setup won't take much time click on next enter your name your organization you can type anything I'm going for code captures click on next and now we need the product key so here at the windows xp professional where we downloaded the iso image here you will find the product key here is the serial just copy it and paste it here click on next you need to set up uh, administrator password enter a password that you will remember click on next and it's installing network select typical settings and click on next make sure you select this and click on next and it's going to copy files from the previous machine the legendary one so here we are on windows xp and there you have it you have successfully installed windows xp on virtualbox you can now use it for software testing, legacy gaming, or just for nostalgia. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more tech tutorials. And also programming tutorials. We are planning some content for the future. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video. Peace out.